Well, in this session, I want to talk to you about the basics of our small groups. Um, this is just getting you know rubber to the road, giving you information. Now, I give you this information uh, not only for you, but also um, so that you can share this information. As a leader, um, as someone who, uh, who is a member of PathPoint, you know, it's always good that it's not just the pastor or the staff that knows these things, but you're out there, you can answer questions when people come up and ask you about small groups. So here's a little bit of the basics of small groups. First is just about group size. This is really gonna help you out. You're really looking for 15 to 20 people in your group. That may sound like a lot, um, but if you've led groups before, you realize not everyone comes every single time. And so really this allows for you to have a good group um, that meets every single night. Also, this provides the best opportunity to learn and grow. Um, if you have more than 20 people, uh, I'll tell you this from experience, there's a disconnect. You cannot get to all 20 of those people. Uh, but at the same time, if you have less than 10, um, that definitely creates that weird factor. If you've ever been in a group before and been in around that six to eight range, it can be weird at times. And, um, and so really we believe 15 to 20 people who sign up for your group, that will really benefit you and it'll be really about the right size that you need. Um, this is why we cut off sign offs. If we have 20 people sign up for your group, you know, we may let that push into 21 or 22, but then we, we close your group um, because we wanna create the best environment for people to share and for your group to succeed. So that's our group size. Next, I wanna to talk to you about inviting people. <clears throat> Remember, this is just the basics of being a leader and the basics of small groups. I love this statement. God will not invite people to your group. It has to be you. You know, uh, this is not just the responsibility of the small groups pastor or the staff or our senior pastor. No, um, the invite needs to come from you. I want you to take as the leader and the assistant or a host, I want you to take responsibility for filling your group. You know, if you're excited about it and you want to lead, you're out there talking about it. You're out there recruiting, I guess you could say, um, the members of Pathpoint to come to your group because you know what God wants to do in that group. So really this is about you inviting and reaching out to people. The best advertisement still to this day, it's not Facebook, it's not Instagram, it's word of mouth. And so you going out and inviting people is the best thing you can do to get people to come to your group. Uh, next, I wanna to talk to you about making contact with first time signups. This is extremely important. <clears throat> I want, I, I, and as I say first time signups, here's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the people that you know, the people who've been coming to your group for years, uh, the friends that you had signed up. I'm talking about those first time signups. You see them sign up for your group and you don't recognize the name. I can't tell you how much it will mean to that person if you reach out to them, give them a phone call and say to them, hey, thank you for joining this group. And you reach out and you make contact first. Uh, think about a time in your life, maybe it was a small group, maybe it was church, um, some event you went to in middle school and you walk in and you didn't know anybody. I remember, I went to college, I did not know one person. I'll never forget walking into a building and, and literally not knowing one single person and felt like the whole room was staring at me. All right, this is the anxiety. This is some of the things that people who sign up for groups the first time, this is what they think about. This is what they face. They create these realities in their mind that that's what's gonna happen when they walk into this group. Now, imagine if they're thinking that and all of a sudden their phone rings and they get a call from the leader. You introduce yourself and you invite them to the group, tell them you're excited about it and that you can't wait to see them. Hey, maybe even say, uh, let's meet up this Sunday so I can put a face with a name and um, and meet you you know face to face and get you to come to the group so um, <clears throat> that can be uh, something that's really amazing for our first time signups this can be split between the leader and the assistant this doesn't just have to be the leader now this is boots to the ground right here this is practical i want to talk to you about that phone call this is just an example um, but call that person thank them for signing up tell them you're excited to get started tell them the first meeting the time and the location um, tell them what it's really going to be about. We'll have food for you. You know, we'll have um, you know, the snacks and, and drinks that you can uh, that we'll have people bring that you can participate in. Um, also, that you look forward to seeing them there. That you can't wait for them to come. 
That's gonna mean a lot to that first time sign up. And then ask them if they have any questions. <clears throat> you know, I've heard this in the past, when people see that they're gonna have food, one of the first time, uh, the first time sign ups are like, well, do I need to bring anything? It's a great opportunity to say, hey, no, we have some of our other leaders and members bringing it. You just come and enjoy the group. So this is um, just a way that, that, that some of the basics, the, one of the things that you need to do as a leader. Next, I wanna talk to you just about the website. And I'm actually gonna cover this in a video, uh, another video at the end of all these training sessions, but we function um, through our website. So signups, go to our website. If you wanna know who's in your group, you go to this website. Um, if you want to contact people in your group, email them. You can go to this website. So I'll share more information about that. If you're a leader or an assistant, you really need to, to catch this video at the end of our training videos and see what the website offers you.